Hello and welcome. This video is brought to you by the StreamingAdvisor.com. Tailor your entertainment with streaming. And what we're looking at in this video is the new CW channel for Roku. CW is going to be on every device soon enough, but at the time that we're making this video, it's only on Roku. Let me show you how you add it first. I see people all the time on Facebook and emails. How do you get this? How do you get this? If you didn't know, Roku, you can add things by just looking for it in the search. So we're going to type in CW here, and you'll see a whole bunch of results. You can get more channel-centric if you look in the channel store specifically. But here you've got CW Seed, which is not the one you're looking for. That is from CW and has a lot of older shows. But here it is, the CW channel for Roku. So you're going to say OK. And you're going to add the channel. There we go. Let's go. Let's go. All right. It has been added. So we're going to go ahead and go home. And just so you know, anytime you add a channel, you might have seen the note, it goes to the bottom of your screen. So that's really helpful. Like, see, we've got 118 channels. And instead of cycling through all of them, we're just going to tap up and go right into the CW channel. So let's open it up. You get your nice little CW logo there, and it jumps in here to an attractive and kind of almost minimalistic setup where you can see nice artwork here from their major hits. And you see a really easy-to-read menu here. Nice big writing, nothing much to figure out. Now, there's something really important I want to point out about this. You notice there's an about, but this channel does not have a sign-in. And you might have noticed that a lot of network apps, NBC's app, ABC, especially Fox, pretty much you have to sign in to any of those channels with like a cable subscription password. This app or channel does not require that at all. It is completely open without that. So that's really cool. That makes it, it's just, I mean, it's just like having the channel on your Roku. You can pull up all of their shows and watch them. Now, at the moment, this does not have anything current because nothing has really started. So. What you've got here is a listing of all the shows that CW does. Once the season starts in a couple of weeks, I, you know, most of these shows are launching around October, which is, I guess, about a week from now. You're going to be able to come in here and see the most recent show every day. The, what they're going to have is the last five episodes of any given show, and you're going to be able to come in. And check them out. It's not going to have more than the last five shows. It's not like one of those apps with whole seasons. So you're going to have to keep up with something. But you know, if you like a show, if you like The Flash, if you like The 100 Era, whatever, you can watch every week and you can keep up. You can watch, you know, check them out every day for all of your favorite shows if you like them all. Like this show. It was a pretty interesting the first, first year there. But... If you think about it, it's actually a lot like what Hulu did when CW was, had their shows on Hulu. You could only watch the, the last five episodes. So really what you've got here is something that's like Hulu, but subscription-free, fee-free, and simply commercial-supported. I checked it out. I'm not going to launch anything today because I just don't feel like dealing with what may or may not happen with rights issues and things like that. I don't try to skirt them, but sometimes Google wants to be careful with their partners, and that's, that's fine. But what I can tell you is that there are commercials. Uh, there's about five commercial breaks. They're not long. There's only maybe two commercials per break, and that's, I mean, that's really no big deal. The player is also easy to use and navigate. It looks just like Hulu or something else. So that's the CW app on Roku. I, I hope you found this helpful. Like I said, you know, thank you to CW for finally giving cord cutters and streamers in general 
a simple TV Everywhere app that does not require a sign-in. I'm hoping that if these things grow, you'll see a lot more people offering apps like this from the major players. So, I hope you found that helpful. As usual, I am Ryan Downey, the streaming advisor. Stream on, my friends.